Kellogg's Pep, the super delicious cereal, presents The Adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Yes, it's Superman. And today, as the jury weighs the case of Lois Lane, all hope for saving the girl reporter seems lost. To save the skin of a girl named Dixie Lamar, who had shot and killed a federal agent, Dr. Bly, the cunning leader of Dixie's confidence gang, planted the murder weapon and other damaging evidence in the apartment of Lois Lane, who bears a striking, almost twin-like resemblance to the girl gangster. Arrested and brought to trial, Lois heard witness after witness identify her as Dixie Lamar, the murderess. Realizing that Dixie must be a double for Lois, Clark Kent enlisted editor Perry White and the famous Batman in a desperate search for the girl. But as the case went to the jury, they were still unsuccessful. As we continue now, Kent and White have hurried to the courtroom to wait with Lois for the jury to come in with a verdict. Behind them, the crowd of spectators and newspaper reporters buzz excitedly, their eyes fixed on the closed and locked door of the jury room. Listen. Oh, why don't they come out? What's taking them so long? Why don't For they... heaven's sake, sit down, Chief. Sit down, sit down. How can I sit down with the jury in there weighing Lois's life, to, deciding whether to... Chief, please, to... Mr. White, le, le, let's not talk about oh, it. Oh, Lois, Lois, I, I didn't mean to frighten you. The jury's sure to find you not guilty. Right, Kent? Oh, sure, sure. I wish I could believe that. No, there's nothing to it. It's in the bag. What's keeping that confounded jury? Relax, Chief. They're deliberating. What is there to deliberate about? Anyone in his right mind knows Lois was framed. You only have to look at it and know she couldn't be a, a gangster or, or, or shoot anyone. Well, the prosecuting attorney doesn't agree with you, Chief. And I don't think the judge does either. The prosecuting attorney. The judge. Bah! I'll tear a nut brain that old Peter Twenty Duddies. I'll teach them a thing or two. I'll conduct a campaign in the planet. I'll run them out of town. I'll have them in peace. Now, be careful, I'll... Chief. Remember, you've already been threatened with contempt of the court. I'll contempt him. Let him try to put me in jail. Just let him try. Why, when I get through with him, i show you're putting on isn't making it any easier for Lois, you know. Uh, I'm all right, Clark. I know, no, of course. Doesn't... Of course she's all right. And so am I. I'm as cool as a cubicle. Uh, I'm in the crucible. I, uh... Oh, hang it, a cucumber. Where is that jury? They're still out, Mr. White. Oh, no, no, that's big news. Uh, where have you been, Olson? I was talking to the reporters. They say the longer the jury stays out, the better it is for Miss Lane. Better? Uh-huh. See, everybody was sure they'd vote guilty on the first ballot. Oh. But they've been out almost a whole hour now. That means at least one of them doesn't think you're guilty. And if he holds out, it'll be what you call a, a hung jury. And you'll get a new trial. That is what we need. A new trial. Why? I can't tell them any more in another trial than I did in this one. But nobody believed me. I could see they didn't... Steady, Lois. If we get a new trial, it'll give us time to find the real Dixie Lamar. Yes, or Dr. Bly, or that jitterbug gangster you told us about, Lois. Uh, what was his name? Happy. Yes, yes, yes. And if I could just get my hands on him, I'd change his name to Weeping Willie. But you haven't been able to find him, or Dr. Bly, or Dixie Lamar, or Mr. Hemingway... Oh, it all seems so crazy. Like a... Like a terrible nightmare. Easy now, Lois. Oh, gosh, <laughs> Miss Lane, don't cry. It's going to be all right. Yes, yes, of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, Kent, why haven't we heard from Batman? He should have found that, that that Dixie devil by now. But evidently he hasn't, Chief, or we'd have heard from him. Then he's another false alarm. No, he's not. Like you and everybody else. Oh, what's keeping that jury? Why don't they come out and say Lois is innocent? This waiting is driving me nuts. Driving you nuts? Well, how about me? I'm not as young as I used to be, and my heart won't stand it. Beating like a trip hammer now. It's sure to stop, and I... I... Look, the jury door's open. Yes. Oh, Clark. Steady, Lois, steady. Well, just one man came out. That's the bailiff. The jury must want the judge's advice on some of the evidence. See, he's going into the judge's chambers. No, no, we've got to wait some more. Where's that fellow Fletcher? What am I paying him a big lawyer's fee for? Doesn't he... Why, why doesn't he do something? Don't blame him, Chief. I'm sure he did all he could. Of course he did. You can't expect miracles. I'm not asking for miracles. All I want is justice. Lois, a murderess. Of all of the... the, the, the... No, here you are, Fletcher. Hello, Mr. Fletcher. Well, how's it look? How's it look, huh? Huh? Well, 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 say something. There's no more I can say, Mr. White. It's in the hands of the jury now. All we can do is wait and hope. Wait, wait, wait. What do you think I'm made of, iron? Oh, for Pete's sake, relax, will you, Chief? We're all in the same boat. Relax. That's your trouble, Kent. You relax too much. Oh. If you'd stirred your stumps when this started instead of mooning around thinking Lois was guilty... Oh, please, let's not go into that I again. will go into it. 
Fancy yourself a great detective. Why couldn't you find witnesses to prove Lois told the truth when she said she was home asleep the night of the murder? Well, how could I? You and Jim and I were in Maine that no. night. And how could I prove Lois didn't slip out of her apartment and go down the back service stairs as the prosecution implied she did? Well, well, no, I don't know how, Uh-oh. but... What's the matter? What's the matter, the bailiff Mr. Bailiff is going back to the jury room. Oh, is that bad? Well, while he was consulting the judge, the jury was delayed, but now they'll get back to work on a verdict. Oh, dear, I... Steady, Lois, I... steady. Now, you've been pretty brave through all this. Oh, I can't stand any more waiting. I, I can't stand it, I tell you. I am a nervous wreck. My heart will give out. In fearful suspense, our friends wait. Their eyes moving again and again to the closed jury room door, behind which 12 men and women are deciding Lois's fate. The seconds go by as on leaden feet, each one seeming to question life or death for Lois Lane. Life or death. Meanwhile, in a room lined with steel filing cabinets at Metropolis Police Headquarters, Batman sits at a table strewn with police photographs and clippings as Robin enters. Inspector Henderson says the jury's still out, Batman, but he's sure they'll convict Miss Lane. Well, never mind what he thinks, Robin. Until the jury brings in a verdict of guilty, we've got a chance to save her. What chance? Joe Hansen is dead. Dr. Bly and Happy and Hemingway have vanished. And we've been all through these police files, and there isn't any record of a girl named Dixie Lamar. Yes, I know. And we've wired the police chiefs of every big city, and they haven't any record of her either. Well, I'm sure than ever now that Clark Kent's hunch is right that Dixie Lamar is a phony name. Oh, if we could just find that police file on a girl who looks like Lois Lane, chances are we'd have Dixie. Check, but we haven't been able to. And Mr. Kent and Mr. White went through the back numbers of the Daily Planet for five years. They couldn't find a picture of a girl crook who looked like Miss Lane either. Well, there must be something. Some angle we haven't thought of. No, I'm listening. You want me to help you pace the floor? Oh, I'm just going to open a window, get a little fresh air. It might sweep the cobwebs out of my head. Close the window, will you? I don't want to hear newsboy. Oh, wait a minute. What's the matter? Robin, I just thought of something. Is that good? It's plenty good. Come on, Robin, on the double. Followed by Robin, Batman rushes from the file room at police headquarters. What suddenly occurred to him? We'll return in a moment to find out. But first, you know, gang, it's really a big moment when you get one of those exciting insignia or warplane buttons from a package of Kellogg's Pep. Because it means you're another step on your way toward getting all 22 buttons in the second series. It might even be the only button you haven't got yet. Or, if it's like one you already have, it means that you can trade with your pals and still add to your collection. And these buttons are downright smart looking. They're made of metal, you know, enameled white with the different insignia showing up clear as anything in full brilliant colors. They really dress up your sweater or jacket or cap when you pin them on. And every single insignia is an accurate reproduction of the very same emblem our Air Force men wear. Like the Army 103rd Observation Squadron, for instance. The golden colored flying horse prancing against a bright blue background. Or Navy Patrol Squadron 23, the design of the compass with bomb and stars and lightning bolts in the middle. Why, you'll want to collect all 22 buttons in the second series. And uh, just in case you don't know how to get these dramatic looking buttons, here's how easy it is. You don't send in any money, not even a box stop. You can't buy them. You just ask Mom to get plenty of that super delicious whole wheat flake cereal, Kellogg's Pep. Now, inside each package, you'll find your swell prize, an Air Force insignia or warplane button you'll be mighty proud of. And now, here's a confidential tip. You better hurry, because I won't be telling you about these buttons much longer. Today, be sure to ask your mother to get a package of P-E-P Pep. Made by Kellogg's of Battle Creek. And now, back to the adventures of Superman. Suddenly struck with an idea that might help save the life of Lois Lane, Batman led Robin to the juvenile court near police headquarters. There, after speaking to the chief clerk, he was shown to a room lined with steel files. Now, he and Robin have been examining those files while typewriters tapped nearby. That was an inspiration, Batman, going through the juvenile records for a girl who looks like Miss Lane. Only... Well, only what, Robin? Only we haven't found her. I'll keep looking. Chances are that a girl stupid enough to shoot a federal agent in a hotel lobby must have some police record. You can't tell. Everything is wacky in this case. A press agent named Hemingway just, just vanishes. Uh, Ditto Dr. Bly. Ditto Dixie Lamar. Ditto my mind and reason. Watch your tongue. 
Let's have less conversation and more action, Robin. Just show me a chance to go into action and you'll make me happy. It's this not getting anywhere that gets me down. Gee, poor Miss Lane. Wait a minute, Robin. Now what? Look at this card. Here, now tell me what you see. Christopher Columbus, it's Miss Lane. You mean it's a dead ringer for Miss Lane? Yeah, sure. Of course, that's what I mean. What does it say on the card? Let's see. Dorothy Zelinka. Yeah? Convicted of shoplifting, sentenced to Metropolis Reformatory, February 3rd, 1940. Released August 3rd, 1940. Come on, Robin, let's go. Hold everything. That was five years ago. How are we going to find her now? Well, we might get a lead through the reformatory. It's right near here. A lead isn't enough. We've got to get the girl before that jury brings in its verdict. And they'll do that any minute well, That now. means we've got to work fast. Come on, fellow, we're underway at last. Dorothy Zelinka. Released from the reformatory five years ago. Is Dorothy Zelinka Dixie Lamar? And if so, will Batman and Robin be able to find her? Only minutes remain. So don't fail to hear tomorrow's exciting episode, fellows and girls, when Batman and Robin go into action against terrific odds. Tune in, same time, same station, and follow the adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Fellows and girls, be sure to follow the adventures of Superman. Brought to you every day, Monday through Friday, same time, same station, by the makers of that super delicious cereal, Kellogg's Pep. And for other thrilling adventures of Superman, see your local newspaper. Superman is also a copyrighted feature, appearing in Superman DC publications. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.